Today on this 2004 Cadillac SRX, we're going to install part number 75174 from DrawType. This will also apply to part number 87661 from Hidden Hitch. This is what the hitch looks like when it's installed on the vehicle. Next, we'll give you some measurements that will help you out in selecting some accessories. From top of the receiver opening down to the ground on this particular vehicle is going to be 14 and 3 8 inches. From the center of a hitch pin hole to the outside edge of a bumper is going to be an inch and a half. Now we'll go ahead and show you how the hitch is installed on the vehicle. First thing we need to do is go ahead and lower a spare tire, which we've done already. And then the next thing we need to do is lower the exhaust. We're also going to use a strap on our exhaust just to hold it in place so we can control it a little more easier when we lower it down. We're going to spray down our rubber hangers with some lubricant, two in the back and one going towards the front. We can use just a simple pry bar to pry off the hangers. Now the next step is actually remove the metal part of a hanger from the vehicle. All right, there's three bolts to remove, one on each side of the frame and one on the bottom. We have to do that because this lower stud right here, we actually have to take a cutoff wheel and cut it off flat as possible. We got our driver's side done, we'll go over to the passenger side and remove that bracket as well. All right, next step is go ahead and start trimming the heat shield out. We held the hitch up to it to see how much we needed to cut out and we made an outline on our heat shield. All right, this is the area we need to cut out. However, this heat shield has seen better days and there's a natural break back here. So we're just gonna go all the way up with that. And on this side, we actually just bend it up and fold it out of our way and be fine. We'll repeat the same process on the driver's side as well. Okay, we did a couple tests this with the hitch to make sure the heat shield was out of the way. Once we're satisfied with that, we'll go ahead and start cleaning out the weld nuts in the frame. These are three locations for weld nuts, here, here, and here. All right, it's gonna be identical on both sides of the car. We're gonna spray down the holes with some lubricant. We're gonna run our hitch bolt in and out a few times to help clean them out. Now, this is an older vehicle, so chances are we're gonna have to use a thread tap to really clean these out. To help clean out the threads, we'll be using a tube brush, and this will be part number 814092. Okay, this vehicle also has an air compressor mounted right here, so we have to remove these two bolts and tilt it down. Now, the hanger brackets that we had to remove, we can go ahead and put them back into place. At this point, we can go ahead and install the hitch. You definitely want to get an extra set of hands to help hold it up there, and hold it in position while you get the bolts threaded in and then we'll snug down the bolts, then torque them down as specified in the instructions. All right, next we can go ahead and reinstall the air pump. The hitch has a hole in it, so you can reinstall it and use the factory fasten. And on the back side here, the kit provides a block so it sits even. Now we'll go ahead and put the heat shields back into place. We'll spin them back down. Then we can go ahead and reinstall our exhaust back onto the hangers. With that, that'll finish up our install part number 75174 from DrawType.